All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. And peace and blessings to you, Akiam, that are out there pushing this truth and sincerity and doing the work of the Most High and His Son across the four corners of the planet Earth. All right, this is the brother of Warba from Great Millstone, Dallas. Back with a quick impromptu lesson, man. I mean, just, I'm on my lunch break. Um, you know, some things that happened at my job today where I just kind of got really, really upset and angry. And uh, it just wasn't going the way that I wanted it to go. And, you know, I know there's there's days that's, you know, where days are going to be different. There's going to be good days. There's going to be bad days. There's going to be days where you just, you know, you ain't feeling some certain things. And there's going to be times where you just going to get upset or you're going to want to get upset, you know. But before acting out or saying something or doing something, you know, in this truth, we are given knowledge, wisdom and understanding for a reason. You know, with these holy scriptures, we're given instruction with everything in our lives, you know. So before acting with haste, you know, reply or refer to the, or re refer to the scriptures, all right. And so with that, that's primarily what my lesson's going to be about. That's my topic today. So uh, I want to get into this. Uh, I want to get into um, Salakia Akio, just... Real vexed at the moment, so I'm trying to calm myself down. But I want to get into uh, this scripture right here. All right, and it says, this is Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 9. And it says, be not hasty in thy spirit to be angry, for anger resteth in the bosom of fools. All right, and so, of course, we're taught, you know, in this truth to be wise as a serpent, but harmless as a dove, you know. And why is that? Because with anger, you know, you don't think, man. You don't think clearly and you can end up doing something or saying something that can make your situation a lot worse than it would have been had you have just remained quiet, you know, or had you have not done something, you know, you, you would have been in a lot better situation and been more well off if you would have just, you know, referred to the scriptures and what it says about being angry and being in emotion. Mm -hmm. All right. So, you know, of course, there's going to be trying times in this truth, especially especially at this time that we're in. Of course, with the prophecies unfolding, you know, there's going to be people that are going to be set up to try you. You know, Satan is going to come at you in different ways, different forms, different fashions, because he knows what gets at you. OK, he knows you better than most people. All right. And so in order to combat that, man, you have to stay locked in and you have to stay rooted and you got to know what to do in the times when you are faced with uh, different adversities. All right. So you definitely got to you, you definitely got to pay attention and be mindful, man. You know, not to sin with your mouth, man, or not to say something that'll get you and put in harm's way. A lot of times, you know, in a situation where you'll get upset, you'll 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 say something really fast and that can end up getting you hurt can end up making you lose your job, can make you end up losing your woman, can make you end up losing, you know, these are just certain just examples that I'm going into, you know, on a, uh, on a, on a small carnal aspect, you know, just some things that you deal with on a daily basis. But you got to, if you were spiritual about it, man, you'll know, you'll be like, all right, you know what? Take this cheerfully, man. You know, like it says in a uh, Sirach, the second chapter, man. Okay. Because this, this walk that we have is not an easy one, man. It was never designed to be that way. Because if it was designed to be easy, then everybody would be doing it. Every We would basically be like those wacky, tacky Christians, man. Okay? Everybody would be doing it. But the Lord, but Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah says that his, his sanctuary is small, man. Okay? It's not going to be a whole bunch of people. All right? It's going to be small. OK. And so, you know, I want to get another scripture real quick uh, while I'm thinking about it. This is uh, I want to go to the, the book of Ephesians. OK. You know, I'm just you know, I'm just venting. But also, you know, I'm just trying to be also in the spirit and be mindful, you know, and just, you know, it prompted me to do a lesson because I'm pretty sure there's other Akiyam out there that feels like this every single day. You know, they may get upset with 
their their the things that they're going on there are things that are going on in their daily lives you know what i'm saying as far as you know it may be dealing with their home life their job their baby mama may be tripping you know their boss may be crazy at a time or you never know what a akia may be going through man but also we're giving things you know we're giving things while we're going through this too you know you know, you're giving the body, man. You're giving your brothers. You got your Akiam there that you can call and, and, and you can rely on them, man. You know, you can vent to them. You can vent to brothers. You know, you could talk with brothers because not only are they your brothers, man, but they are your true friends in this thing, man. They're like-minded individuals that are truly in this thing just like you, man. They fighting just a lot. They fighting alongside you, too. They're there to be your comfort as well as these scriptures. You know what I'm saying? So you got to be able to use your tools whenever you're faced with different adversity, man. Okay? All right, this is um, Ephesians. And I want to start at the, uh, I'm going to say the uh, 26th verse, I believe. Con. This is Ephesians chapter 4, verse 26. All right, and it says, Be ye angry and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. Okay? So again, be ye angry and sin not. Okay? Don't do something that's going to cause you to go off, man. Okay? Don't don't get mad at a situation or get mad at something and and cause you to err, man, or cause you to fail, you know? Because it's very easy for you to do so when you're not thinking clearly, man, when you just go into a rage and just, just rage out, man. You know, some people can get highly, depending on what what the situation is, some people can get pretty pissed off to the point to where they could commit a murder, man. They could kill someone, you know, and they can do it uh, and out out of just out of a carnal, out of emotion, man, you know, and you can end up killing somebody or doing something that causes you to go off and be uh, be or trust transgress against the most high or against the heavenly father, man. You know what I'm saying? So you always want to be mindful and have a mentality and be in the right mind of, and mind mindset, man. Be spiritual before carnal. Okay. And I know this is like a, a, a event lesson, you know, or a topic to where I'm going in. But hell, man, brothers feel like this every day, man. Some people get up, they wake up mad. You know what I'm saying? They wake up pissed off. And that sucks that we have to feel this way in this place, man. That's why that's why you have to constantly endure and, and, and continue to do what you have to do so that our big brother Yahweh can come back and get us out of here, man. You know? I know brothers are tired of this, man. I know brothers are tired of tired of dealing with everyday madness, man. From from where you live to the food that you have to eat to the people that you have to deal with on an everyday basis, to Esau's madness, to his, to his laws and his, and his statutes and the things that he has set up here to keep us trapped, man, to keep us even more dumbed down, you know, you can't even go out and have a glass of water without it worrying about how much fluoride is in it or how, or how is it, how it's going to affect you. Or even when you go and you, 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 you try to have a good meal, man. Or you try to just relax, man. You can't, man. There's so much stuff in this place that is vexing, man. All right? Today is so-called Halloween. You know, even more vexing day, man. You got people running around, you know, uh, partaking in this thing, and they don't even know what it goes back to. All right? They're just doing it. They have no idea what it goes back to. You got... You got so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, man, running around, and they have no idea what they're worshiping, man. Okay? And I know it's pretty much off of, I don't want to digress too much, but the whole point of this is, man, you know, think before you act, man. Okay? And I'm going to read the scripture one more time, okay? This is Ephesians 4 chapter 26 or Ephesians chapter 4 verse 26 Salakia be ye angry and sin not let not the sun go down upon your wrath all right and I hope this lesson has been edifying to you brothers 
to all of you that are out there listening, man. To you sincere aqua that are out there listening too. And with that, I'm gonna give again. I'm gonna give all praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone who rule well, and peace and blessings to you Akiam that are out there doing the work in sincerity and in truth, man. And with that, I'm gonna say shalom. <laughs>